Ida from Chikara, professional for over 20 years. Meanwhile, Neil Mito, only a professional for eight months. Big experience contrast here. Well, both of these guys, very famous with some of our tape trading fans. So this should be a classic as we start with a test of strength. Skyda counters with a foot. Skyda is a true veteran of the sport. I've seen him, I've seen him as a sport. He's quite impressive. Yeah. Using that leverage to counter the test of strength now. Skyda, for five years now, has been the head trainer of the Ultimo Dragon Toruman School in Mexico City. One of the most prolific, one of the most famous independent training facilities in all the world. But look at Neil Nito, Collection 18, taking down Skyda with the arm drag. Lightning fast, both these men are. This is going to be a two out of three falls contest. It is a two out of three falls. We, we should have mentioned that. It's a two out of three falls, which, you know, it looks like both these men are at least in good cardiovascular shape, so. Japanese arm drag by Skyda. And Kirsten went double arm submission hold. You, you know, in a match like this, a two out of three falls match, I'm gonna have to give the, the edge to Skyda because He's been wrestling for 20 years. He just knows more holes. And as you mentioned, this kid, this kid Melito, he's gotten some good reviews in his early career, but he's only been wrestling eight months, Jim. You need to move from Japan to Mexico to increase his experience level. And has also competed for Torumon. So these guys probably know strangers to each other. They've probably crossed paths Pokemon, at some time what? before. Torumon. I'm begging you to do your research. I never liked that this Pokemon. I understand that. Armbar by Skyda now. When I was a kid, the toys were cool, like Transformers. None of this Pokemon crap. Skyda making Milito think about it. Now it's the leg grapevine. A lot of submission holds early on. Used more as wear down holds. Not trying to trigger a submission just yet. I don't think that's going to happen with the level of competition in here. But if you can weaken a body part, you can exploit it for two or up to three more falls. It's gonna take that kind of strategy for the, the eventual victor because you, know, you can't just uh, catch lightning in a bottle, as they say, catch a quick finisher and win the whole match. That's just one fall. You've gotta actually have some legitimate wrestling ability in order to take this one. In other words, I don't think Leslie Leatherman is fair to A Couple of leg sweeps by Skyda into a variation of the ankle lock. You know, Milanito fashions himself as a an Italian supermodel. Italian he's got supermodel done seeing some Japan. lovely ladies. What do you think about the looks of Mr. Milanito? I mean, I'm not impressed with him in the same way I was with the ladies, but he looks like an impressive youngster as far as his ring ability. I gotta give him that. But he's gotta figure out, I mean, he's from Japan, he's from Italy. What's, what's that all about? What is the deal with that? Well, he's an Italian superstar from Japan that moved to Mexico. Simple. And now he's in Butler. Boy, that degenerated quickly, didn't it? Will you get off the case of the Butler fan? Skada trips him up now. Another submission move coming up. Could be seeing a surfboard. No, floats over. Pulling on those arms, stretching out the shoulder blades. Now rolls over, almost an Oklahoma roll, into a sitting full Nelson. Unbelievable innovation by Skada so far. I guess Skada knows you've ever seen and then some you probably haven't seen Joe. He's been doing this for so long. He has an arm bar. Notice he's got that leg grapevine around that neck for extra added leverage and momentum. Look at Milito AT countering right out. Has the leg stretching back on that. Focusing on the ankle now. That's guy in a compromising position but look at how he quickly picks the arm. Milito counters but now Scott has the other arm. With a snap mare, a lot of momentum behind that one, and Skyda in the front row. Skyda, I mean, it's better than Skyda has to take a breather in there with, with a rookie, a true rookie. That's been the first one of the year. That, that's a feather in the cap of, of Melito, I tell you that. Much. How old is this Melito? You have any idea? Though? Looks pretty young to me. I, I don't have any figures. I do know he has only eight months' experience compared to 20 plus. For Skyda at a definite disadvantage thus far when you factor in that, not even factoring into the case that he, he's apparently out of his mind with that invisible dog. You know, you have to be 18 to wrestle in the state of Pennsylvania, so I'm guessing he's at least 18, but he, he certainly doesn't look it, does he? Off goes, he is for our youthful superstar. That's not important right now. What's important is the ability of hanging in there with one of the most respected men to come out of the Chikara area, the Tulumon area, whatever. Right hands by Milamito. Gains the leverage by bouncing up the rope, hits the arm, a drop kick, sends Skyda to the outside for the second time in this matchup. Real Lethal Collection 18, very impressive thus far.
You know, I just thought of something. This is a two out of three falls match. That means it could go on for a pretty long while, you know. You know, Melito needs to get his algebra homework done. He, he, he can't go too late. Oh, stop it. We could be here a while, but I don't think any of these fans would complain. I don't think he'd complain. I mean, when you were that age, I'm sure you would like to kind of duck out on your algebra homework, too. Homework. Standing drop kick. Big mistake there by the veteran. Melito not softened up enough yet. Ducks that easily. Now back in control. Counter with a whip. Whip of his own. Skyda. Hip toss. Melito lands on his feet. Up and over, behind, around. Unbelievable pinning combination. Gets three. That's called the Natari Bianco. That, that's, this has got to be a major upset. I know the match isn't officially over, but for a, a kid who's been wrestling for eight months to just defeat Skyda. He hasn't out. wrestled for 20 years. That, that, that's, that's an upset. I mean, very elaborate pin sequence. He calls the Natari Bianco. Translates to White Christmas. Fans chanting, we want more. Well, it is two out of three falls. They're going to get it. Melito wins fall number one with that Vittare looks like, Bianco. Looks like this Melito collection AT has got a future ahead of him. There were so many twists and turns and revolutions in that elaborate pin sequence. How could anyone even think about countering that? You have no idea where he's going next. As Jim Ross would say, that kid is quicker than a hicko. Dear God. All right, we're ready for fall number two. Uh, this could, you know... I have to say right now, not only because he has a one fall to none advantage, but Skyda has got to be, that's got to get in his head here. I mean, he might have even taken this kid for granted. You know, he's been around, he's beaten his share of kids. He probably thought this was going to be an easy one, two, three, nice work now. Now, he might start to panic, and I wouldn't be surprised to see Milanito Collection AT actually take the entire match. Psychological advantage for sure, but keep in mind, Milanito, a student of Skyda, he knows exactly what kind of skills he possesses. We'll see what kind of nerves Skyda has, because... He needs to keep his cool. I know it's got to be a little embarrassing to lose to, to a pupil. But that kid's a professional Leap too. Back and forth, reversals. Jockeying for positioning, arm drag by AT. Counter with a kick. Try to spring up into a broken run up. Guy to counters and into an arm drag. Lightning fast action. I can't even keep up with it. Grabbing the arms now by Sky up. Trips up the arm into a half. Boston crowd, trapping the arm, picking the leg, twisting back. Unbelievable technical prowess. Skyda looks a little pissed off. Into a pinfall. Well, Skyda has that experience advantage. He doesn't want to be shown up by his student of all people. Right. I, I mean, would you agree that maybe he took him for granted in that first fall? You know, thought it would be easier than it was. And now, now it looks like he's real actually focused and concentrating on the work in hand. Might have as we see a tilt world back breaker. Maybe AT skills have been improving even more rapidly. Then Skyda had thought. Ace Crusher, Sun, or whatever you want to call it, drills Milnito Collection 18. Braun hold into a roll through. Victory roll, not content with that. Grabs the legs, almost a variation of the execution, popularized by Andrew over on WWE wow. Raw, and that's the tap out win. Skyda wasted no time evening the match at one fall apiece. <laughs> Skyda calls that the Jorge Especial, and it was enough to make Milito Collection AT tap out. And now look who has the advantage now. AT on the outside, jarring with fans. Skyda, calm, cool, and collected in the rear. The fans really giving to Does he understand what they're saying, though? I think the only English word he knows is egg roll. Would you be respectful? Whereas Skyda knows taco. Burrito. Sombrero. One minute rest period here, assumingly. Giving these two men a chance to collect their thoughts. Hey Joe, what's up in the sky? What? What's up in the air? The sky, duh. Oh my. Thank you, I'll be here all, all week. That would have been mildly funny if you hadn't botched it. Yeah, I know, I, I blew that in it. Leg drop by Skyda. On 18, not even you can ruin this match for me. This is tremendous action. Up in a water wheel slam position, turns into a face buster. Somersault face bit drop kick. Lightning fast offense by a man who's been around for over 20 years. That's unbelievable. How many 20 year veterans do you know that move like that? Not many. Lord Zoltan's about the only other one I can think of. Wow. Pump handle position by Skyda. Elevates him up, plants him face first. 
You know, you were talking earlier about some, you know, potential future FNW matches. How would you like to see a battle of experience with Skyda going one-on-one -on -one with Lord Zoltan? That would be a contrast in styles. Anytime we see a guy like Skyda, Alan Wicked, like Emiliano Collection AT, our Cruiserweight Champion Kevin Grace, you know it's going to be a great match regardless of who they're in the ring with. Or Lord Zoltan. Oh, him included. Can't discredit Zoltan's contributions. Eventually in his own right, but right now AT coming back with a back elbow on his trainer Skyda, elevates it up to back body drop. You know, I'm really impressed with the cardiovascular conditioning of both these guys. You know, they've already wrestled basically what amounts to two complete matches, and they're both still flying around like, like bumblebees or something. And there's a basement truck right to the external occipital protuberance of Skyda. What? Well, it's a lump on the back of your head. You're confused, aren't you? I'm really confused right now. Yeah. Both men battling out in the corner. The quick pace we've seen these men go at for about 10 minutes now. Finally catching up with Skyna follows him in. Herbert Pedrana off of the top turnbuckle. Unbelievable move again. Kicking the leg. Going for an Indian death lock. No, turns over to the other side. Grabs the upper body. Looks like into a front face lock. Looks like Mil Milanito is actually trying to return the favor, not just pin Skyda, but make him submit. Looks like he's been aggravated and wants to actually make Skyda submit. That's a pretty tall order. I think, so. Skyda halts Milanito's momentum, catches him with a devastating clothesline. I'll tell you, I've never seen back and forth action quite like this. Roll through, cover, able to power out that shoulder was exposed on the left side. You know, all drug decide the wrestling action in FNW is as good as anywhere in the country. This match is, is a proof of that. And we see all different styles here in FNW. And look at this submission hold. Again, stretching the arms, crimping the neck. But it doesn't last very long before Skyda counters out of it. Irish rip to AT. As a move in the face buster. What a, look at the lightning like quickness. Rolls him through. That was La Placenta, and he beat him with it. <laughs> Skyda with the victory. Well, I think, I think experience won out there over youth is what that match boiled down to because the athleticism of both men was just was beyond, beyond what we could even describe. Defeating his much younger student, Skyda, been around for 20 plus years, hasn't lost a step yet. Unbelievable match. Emiliano Collection AT has nothing to be to be embarrassed about here. No, he doesn't. Match. You also got to give a lot of credit to Skyda for not losing his cool after losing that first fall. I mean, he could have easily gotten flustered and panicked and, and, and lost another fall right after that, but he kept his cool. He came back. I'm impressed.